Hi, my name is Judith Martin Lucas from the University of Salamanca, and I am going to present Technology and Teaching Space, a pedagogical approach to the classroom of the future. A piece of research that I did together with Alberto Sánchez Rojo from the Complutense University of Madrid. Our research lies on the fact that we live in a technology-driven society in which electronic devices are exceeding the number of people living on the planet. Such is the magnitude of these changes that the literature has already suggested that we are facing a process of reontologizing our world. We may contend that we are living an on-life existence, that is, a world in which it has become impossible to distinguish between online and offline because cyberspace encompasses and occupies everything. We can say that all these transformations also have their correlation in the field of education. Within this context, digital technologies have managed to invade, even occupy, traditional teaching spaces. The research that we present here in Team 22 will seek to show how far this statement is true with, through a detailed analysis of the classroom of the future. So the hyper classroom is also called future classroom lab or active learning classroom clearly shows that teaching space are being affected by the reontologization of our world. We are dealing with a model that appears to be transitional toward an on life world. This classroom is more than just a large classroom. It is an open, flexible and adjustable space that fulfills three teaching requirements. First of all, a hyperspace, open, spacious and flexible. Second one, a hypermedia context in which it is difficult to differentiate between online and offline. And finally, a hyperreality in which virtual reality is becoming increasingly, increasingly similar to reality itself. So a hyper classroom is a spacious, mobile, diverse and adjustable, precisely like the internet. As opposed to a traditional classroom located in a physical and temporal space, this is a context in which space no longer dictates the learning time, as the teaching process becomes delocalized. The feeling of permanence provided by books and physical devices is transformed by the volatility and ubiquity that characterize screens and their immateriality. The internet now shows us that anything can be learned in any number or any number of different ways, and that is also changing the teacher's role that now is considered as tutor or mentor. An analysis of the hyper classroom showed that this traditional model is coming to an end. It is not a place for teaching, but instead one for learning. In conclusion, we can say that if there is one thing that our present hyper technology site context is missing, it is pedagogy. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. If you are interested in this topic of research, you can find us at this email address.